Last month, the final troops of the 2nd Armored Division forward arrived at the Lucius D. Clay Caserne, bringing the division up to its full prescribed strength. This represented a significant development in completion of Clay Caserne. Construction is also moving at a brisk pace towards completion of facilities at Clay Caserne. Major Richard W. Grauman, resident engineer for Gallstadt, the site of Clay Caserne, talks about the latest state of construction. Well, you've uh, passed the peak, essentially. Uh, most of the German-funded projects have been completed. You know, the barracks are completed, the headquarters build buildings are completed, the uh, maintenance facilities are completed. What, what is remaining is um, landscaping, uh, parking lots, uh, sidewalks of, of um, the significant projects that are remaining on the German funded side is a direct support maintenance shop, a mini tank range, a combat training theater, a tank wash rack, and uh, that's about it as, as far as the, the German funded projects are concerned. On the U.S. side we have essentially all the community facilities which are under construction. Here are combined open mess, community center, bowling alley, rec center, um, a handball court, racquetball court, and the outdoor athletic facilities. Funding for the construction of the concern was supplied jointly by the U.S. and German governments. The German government also furnished the land for the location of Clay Caserne. The area's military history dates back many years. Well, the concern itself in, in Clay Caserne has been built on an existing uh, German military reservation, which um, has been in existence prior to the turn of the century. Uh, as a result of the Schmidt Ford Agreement uh, the, to station U.S. troops here in northern Germany, um, the German government provided about 300 acres from their 3,000 acre military reservation for uh, a U.S. concern. Uh, the, the German government also provided about 171.2 million Deutschmarks for the construction of those buildings which they would normally provide their own soldiers had they built the concern. Uh, the U.S. portion of this project is approximately $25 million, and that's for those facilities that um, community facilities and a school which uh, you know, the U.S. and the, the U.S. soldiers and their dependents are used to using and have to be provided. Uh, the concern itself contains uh, 14 enlisted barracks, three headquarters buildings, uh, a brigade headquarters buildings, three VOQ buildings, um, three dining facilities, two of them are 800 man dining facilities and one is a thousand man dining facility. There are five battalion maintenance shops, two company maintenance shops, a direct support maintenance shop which is under construction, a warehouse to house the um, to warehouse the brigade supplies, a dispensary which is a, a uh, troop outpatient dispensary and the main support is up in Bremerhaven and it has a communications facility and that uh, is about the extent of the projects that are funded out of the 171 point two million D marks. The US funded portion of the, of the uh, project, $25 million, is for the combined officer enlisted NCO open mess, the 12 lane bowling alley, a recreation center which includes a library and craft shops, and the community center which houses your AFES retail store, snack bar, uh, American Express Bank, um, classic store, tailor shop, and a 500-man theater, and some other facilities. The concern was first occupied in September of 1978 by a small contingent of troops. Meeting this opening date represented quite an achievement because of the complexities of building a completely new concern in such a short time. Major Grauman relates to the challenge. Well, basically it is the first concern which is built totally from scratch uh, for the U.S. Army in, Europe, in Germany. Um, it was started in May of 1977, this actual construction start, the ground cornerstone laying, and uh, was ready to accept the first units in September of 78. 
So it's just a little bit more than a year. Of course, a lot of the other facilities weren't available in, in September of 78. However, the, the essential elements or essential facilities were available uh, so a unit could move in. All major construction is hoped to be completed by the end of this year. This date was a postponement of previously scheduled completion dates. Northern Germany's unusually bad weather contributed to most of the delays. The other problems that we have had this, this winter has been the weather. And it's really started in the fall with the rainy September. That hampered our um, outside work, our excavation of uh, some new projects that could have started then. And then that led right into the freezing weather and the, and the snow. And in essence, construction has only started uh, again about on the beginning of March. When construction is finally completed and the last stone laid and the final tree planted, the soldiers at Clay Caserne will have the satisfaction of knowing they have endured the worst to be stationed at one of the newest and best equipped concerns in Germany. For AFN, I'm Specialist Jeff Titchnell.